Grace and peace and God bless you. This is Delisa Rogers Fields with Soteria Prophetic uh, Ministries. And I'm coming to you today from the topic, um, the valley of the shadow of death. And now, you know, disclaimer, this is not going to be some, you know, depressing message. Um, if anything, it should be one that serves to encourage you. But it's coming out of David's psalm that he had written in Psalm 23. And he was talking about how God was restoring him and leading him and <clears throat> how God was releasing uh, this fresh anointing over him. But there was something that David mentioned that, um, that I don't know, just resonated in my spirit uh, this morning as I had my devotion. And David talked about how, um, you know, when he was walking through the valley of the shadow of death, that God was with him. And not just the presence of God being there, but he talked about what God was equipped with, what God was accompanied, was accompanied with. And he said, your rod and your staff are there to comfort me. And, you know, if anyone has ever had a valley experience um, that is a place where you need the Spirit of God to comfort you you need the rod and the staff you need the rod to defend you because that's a season where you feel vulnerable um, sometimes you may need to be defended against your own self you know sometimes the enemy is not something external there may be many cases where our enemy <clears throat> is actually our inner me so um, sometimes you have to be you have to be protected from your own self, protected from your own thoughts, protected from your own um, habits and trends and mannerisms. But anyway, he said that your rod and staff, they comfort me. And that staff, it, you know, it, it pulls you back in. It reels you in. It reminds you of the presence of the great shepherd. And so as I was meditating on that word this morning and I thought about the valley because I, I can't speak for anybody else but for me this has been um, it's been a week <laughs> of um, some valley experiences and I found myself just being quiet for the most part just pulling away and um, tuning in you know and just hearing what God is saying and being sensitive to his spirit but one thing I can say for certain um, to my friends people of God who are listening that we all will have a valley experience. Pastor John P. Key wrote a song about it many years ago, um, you know, in the valley. Um, Jesus is the lily in the valley. But, you know, we all, it doesn't matter what your background, your makeup, your status, position, you know, it, none of those things matter. We each will have a valley experience at one point or another in our life. And it's times like that when you need to know that, God is there with you and that he's not just there, but he's equipped. He's got that rod. He's got that staff. He's there to protect. He's there to defend. But he's also there to remind us that we are his children. We are the sheep of his pastor. And that even though that may be in, in you know, a, a very uh, trying season, it may be a very um, unsettling season. It can be a very painful season. Those valley experiences can bring things uh, um, for you to confront, things that you have to challenge. Um, in my prayers, I found you know myself just confessing um, some things to the Lord that had been troubling my spirit. I mean, for this, for some reason, this week, my spirit had just been troubled. Um, a lot, you know, just like an unusual troubling of my spirit. Um, and, and so I just found myself constantly going to God. And then finally, I, I just heard him say, daughter, bring, confess it to me. Confess your fears, your apprehensions, your anxieties, your, you know, could bring it. And, and it was, I'm telling you, when he, when I heard the Lord say, daughter, bring it. You know, like the scripture says, you know, come boldly to the throne of grace and we'll find that grace and mercy that we, you know, and that, that we need that and that help in the time of need. And I just it was like I heard him just extend that scepter like Ahasuerus did Esther. I, I just I heard it and I saw it and I felt God extend the scepter and and say, daughter, come, come, you know, come bring it, confess it. And I'm telling you, people of God, the moment that he I heard that in my spirit, um, I just I tears fell because it was like the moment of release. It was like, you know, and, and 
you know, I know I can speak for myself. I know that God hears me and I'm not saying that to be, you know, to brag, but, you know, I have a confidence that when I pray, God hears me. But there are certain times when you need God to audibly speak in your spirit. And and I mean, it goes beyond the realm of faith. Lord, I know that you heard me and I know that, you know, <clears throat> you know, you're going to perfect those things that concern me. And, you know, I'm casting my cares upon you and father, you're going to, you know, care for me and you're going to do this. But it's different when he responds back. And he says, okay, bring it. You, you've you been troubled long enough. You've been circling this mountain long enough. You've been, you know, floundering and flopping around in this valley long enough. Come, come, come and bring it. And like I said, when he, when I heard him, I just, I heard it so clear in my spirit, the tears immediately fell. And it was like, I've I got that audience, you know, I got the audience that I need the audience of one, the audience of the one that matters, the audience of the one that does it, the audience of the one that, you know, makes it better, that restores it, you know, or that explains it or that makes it clear. Because sometimes, you know, some of your valley experiences is just a season of fogginess, you know, where you just can't see and and everything is just, you know, in shadows and shadowy figures and you're just trying to figure out God what is going on? What am I supposed to be doing? And where am I, you know, where am, where am I supposed to be? And so in those valley experiences, he has a way to clear the fog. And, you know, he just brings you into a place of um, clarity. He brings you into a place of confidence. And so when I heard him say, daughter, bring it, I just immediately the tears fell because I knew even if, listen, it didn't even matter if he responded after I brought it. It was the fact that he gave me that audience while I was in that valley season, while I was having my valley experience. Though I'm walking through the shadow, uh, through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. And so that moment, it just, it broke the, it it, it just, it, it, I could feel the chains break. I could feel the anointing just in the voice of God that destroyed the yoke. And and as as I shared, um, you know, the things that had been concerning me and troubling me, and I I just shared it, and I just felt such a release in my spirit, such a release in my spirit that I have not felt um, all week, to be honest with you. Just a release, just a, and again, like I said, the answers haven't even come yet, you know, but it's just knowing that I put it out there, and I, 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 I had that audio, I captured his heart and I captured his attention and he heard me and so from this point forward then you release your faith for the work to be done you know you release your faith for God to do what you petitioned him to do he asked you he granted you that audience and so you're you're just giving him that that platform by faith to say God this is what it is and this is what I need you to do so I don't know what season you're, which season you're in, um, but I'm speaking to those particularly who may be in that valley season, that valley of the shadow of death. <clears throat> and you're in a place where, you know, maybe you're, you know, we currently are facing a COVID crisis across the nations. And so maybe you're being affected by that. And maybe it's the shadows of, you know, instability in employment or, you know, instability in your finances or what have you, or perhaps you're facing crises in your health. Maybe you're facing some crises in your family. Um, maybe it's a crisis, a cri- uh, maybe you're having a faith crisis and you just, you know, like, okay, God, <laughs> what is this and what's next? Um, but I want to encourage your heart that though we walk through that valley of the shadow of death, God is with us. That great shepherd, the the chief shepherd will appear. He will not leave us to uh, perish. He will not leave us to drown or to be overcome, but he will come to us. And as he did with me and as he did through Ahasuerus with Esther, he will extend that scepter and he will he will grant you that audience and he will hear your cries and he will hear your petition and you will walk away knowing that you know what God's got it he's coming through with his rod 
He's coming through his, with his staff, and, and he's going to bring that comfort. So my prayer for you today is to receive the comfort of the Lord, receive his presence, utilize and take advantage of that audience uh, that he's going to give you uh, access to permission and, 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 and the invitation to that audience. Take advantage of it and share your heart and be honest. Don't hold anything back because the, she the great shepherd, the chief shepherd cares about you. God bless you. Grace and peace. Until next time.